Hey there, folks. How's it going today? So what are we doing? Today, you and I are going to be looking at a really awesome attack that is going to crush a very popular Town Hall 13, Legends League, and War Base. I've seen this base in many different places. So today, I'm going to show you how to rip it apart like an absolute boss. And I'm also going to show you a really awesome Yeti Smash attack that involves earthquakes and a blimp. We're going to take a look at all of that. We're going to look at the replay. We're going to look at all of the pro tips. And that's getting started right now. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Captain Nemo. Welcome to another Clash of Clans video where we're going to destroy this base. That's right, this base right here is going to get destroyed. I'm going to show you how to do that. We're also going to be looking at a really awesome attack. As you can see, that involves a whole bunch of yetis. There's some ice golems. And there's a bunch of stuff, including earthquakes and a blimp. That's right. We're going to take a look and see how to crush this base. I'm actually pretty excited. I like this attack a lot. This is a very cool one. And today, Gumba is going to show us. We're hanging out in Space Station Gaming. Of course, Space Station Gaming is full of really awesome people. You definitely want to check them out. I'm going to link them below. I'm going to link all of their social media information. You should definitely check them out. They're very cool. I'm part of the Space Station Gaming media team now, and I'm very excited about that. So this base right here. Oh, before we get started, make sure to smash the like button. Sub to the channel. Make sure to sub to the channel because you don't want to miss out on crush bases like this all the time. So you definitely want to come on down. Also, follow us on our Twitter and come down, down to our Discord. A lot of exciting stuff there as well. So, this base, what are we doing? How is Gum going to destroy this base? Let's take a look. There's a whole bunch of, this is an interesting strategy, right? We got four earthquakes in here, which are gonna be used later in the attack, which is kind of nice, I really like that. There's a queen walk in here, we got a blimp, we got a couple of yetis, we have some, we have a bunch of stuff, really. So, let's see what, what, what happens here. Let's see what Gum decides to do. So. I kind of know what Gum is going to do because I've seen this attack, but <laughs> we're going to send a whole bunch of loons in the front. Those are sacrificial coconut loons. Those are sent there to make sure that the blimp survives a little bit further into the attack. As you can see, the idea here is to drop that blimp right near that center area with the a bunch of yetis right there. I think there's a Valken there and a bar, but there's a bunch of yetis and all the yeti might in the middle raged can take care of an entire section and take it apart. And that's kind of what's happening here. Let me pause this for a second. So we send in a whole bunch of loons, right? Two loons, I think, sacrificially to make sure we'll pull the traps. Blimp goes in, Yeti come out, we rage them. So we can get rid of that whole entire section and pull the clan castle, which is an important thing that you want to do, right? I mean, it's extra icing on the cake. You want to make sure that you pull the clan castle. You, you can if you want to. In this case, we do. Uh, we also clear out that whole section and create, like I said, a nice funnel from that side because we want to create a funnel. And that's where the queen walk or queen charge eventually is going to be coming in from. So we do that. That's great. Clan castle is engaged. We throw the poison down. We send in a loon from the other side. That loon over there, again, is to make sure that we pull any kind of traps to provide the help to the healers. We don't want to lose the healers to the traps. That's just not good. Then we send in a king with the wizard. Wizard, a king with a wizard on the west over here. What are we doing? We're cleaning up. Why are we doing that? Because we want to make sure that we, I'm going to pause this for a second again, we want to make sure that we create and clean out that whole section on the bottom, the west, that's where the king is with the wizard. So our troops go into the base. We're funneling. We're trying to make sure that we run away the troops into the base. As you notice, that's what's happening. The idea here, what Gum is thinking, is he's going to send from the north, he's going to send that blimp and clear out that whole area, get a lot of key defenses out, and of course make sure that the queen walks towards the west king and the wizard from the western side to make sure the queen walks in along with the rest of the yeti and the bowlers into the base right that's the idea here we got a whole bunch of wall breakers as you can see that's to open up the wall because we already used the blimp we don't have a wall rocker right we open up the wall get it nice and open and then we're gonna send in all of our yeti and our bowlers with the grand warden behind the whole party now everything is meeting in the middle as a kill squad which is the best way that you would like to run your troops most of the time with the healers behind the entire party we're gonna use uh, four earthquakes right over there to open up the base to get access to the rest of the defenses all of the infernos including the town hall 
as you can see still got some nice stuff from the side we send in a royal champ from the north to clean up and get rid of that section with a archer behind her to just start to clean up so we're going to use the grand warden ability to get through that the single infernos over there and all of that hot defense make sure that we get the town hall the royal champion is doing work up top cleaning that whole section so we don't have to worry about it and coming making sure that she's coming her way down all the way to where the main action is that's with the rest of our attack we still have a loon we have a baby dragon and a freeze so we're going to use that on that single inferno and make sure that our troops get in the healers are still behind the entire party as you notice doing the cleaning we're sending some wizards in all the way from the other side to start our cleanup baby dragon goes in we got a loon we're saving the loon even though it doesn't matter all of the heroes we just crushed this base nice and easy as you notice what do we do a blimp from one side that's to take care of the clan castle and of course to create that nice funnel queen walk she meets the main party on the inside because the king is from the west and then we're just going to use the four earthquakes to open the base up that part of the base to provide access to the town hall the rest of the troops a royal champ from the top from one o'clock that that's op i really like that it did really nicely that the world champion went through the rest of the defenses and cleaned them out so then the main kill squad never had to come back there we just sending a couple of wizards and a couple of archers for cleanup that's really really nice i like this attack and you can crush this base with this attack right here it's very op very strong strategy town hall 13 and if you ever come across this base you can crush it with this one right here make sure to share it with your clan mates because sometimes they might be coming across to this base in their legends pushing of course wards and clan war leagues and etc so make sure to share it with them because it might be helpful to them as well ladies and gentlemen we just watched a very popular base and a very awesome attack crushing that base that's right i hope you learned something today i hope you come across this base and say hmm nemo showed it to me on his channel i'm gonna go over there look at it learn how to do it again and just rip this base apart because you can with this awesome attack strategy straight from space station gaming a really awesome place i'm super excited i hope like i said you learned something from it and like this video if you did make sure to smash the like button subscribe to the channel come on down to our twitter discord because you don't want to miss out, right? There's a lot of exciting stuff going on here. I mean, look, we're crushing bases like absolute bosses in Space Station Gaming, and you can as well in your own clan war leagues. I hope this video helped you. While you're here, check out this one. This is a very cool one, and I'll see you there.